When I'm ready to review and approve student responses to activities, I can come back over to my Seesaw class and tap on my Activities tab and come down to an activity. I can see I have 15 student responses waiting for teacher approval on this response. So I can click here on this gray bar. And one of the great things about activities is that it keeps all of the student work right in the activity. So I don't have to scroll down the journal feed trying to find things maybe a week from now when I want to find a great example of something. So to review the student work, I can scroll down here and tap on one of these thumbnails. And this one's actually for sample student. So I will just skip on by this by tapping on this arrow to move to the right. And here's my first student response that I want to, to take a look at. So I can see that this student did a pretty good job of tracing over the dots to make those capital letters and the lowercase letters. I can also see that they moved the emojis that started with D into this blue field. I do see that they missed the dragon there though, but maybe they they're not sure what a dragon is perhaps. All right, so what I can do here is I can approve this item by tapping on the approve button. I can also go ahead and tap on comment and I can leave them a comment that dragon starts with a D2. Or I can say with the letter D. All right, and then I can post that comment for the students so that they'll see that. I can tap here on the skills icon, and it looks like I didn't tag this activity with a skill before assigning it to my students, so that'll make more work for me because now I'll have to go through and look at my skills. And again, I don't have all of the skills here for literacy and math and the big ideas and enduring understandings for science since this isn't a regular class. But let's say that this item fits pretty well with uh, listens carefully to directions. Um, obviously I would want to choose a language arts skill if I had one, but I don't have those uploaded to this class. All right, then I'm going to mark this off based on the student's work. I would say that they are pretty proficient. They did what they were supposed to. So I'll tap that green check. They traced the letters pretty well and they did move most of the emojis over to this blue box. Then I can also put this in a folder, which again, I should have tagged this activity with a folder before assigning it to my students. So I can go ahead and I could tag this activity and I don't have a folder for language arts, so I'm gonna create one. And maybe I'll make that a pink folder. Then I'll tap this check to save that. And I'll tap the check again to make sure it goes in that language arts folder. All right, then I can move on to the next student by tapping on this arrow over here to the right. And I can look at the next student, PL10, it looks like has not done this. So I could keep going. Here's PL11, which is our next student. Um, again, this student, let's see, they circled the emojis and they did get all of the Ds. Um, they did also trace over these letters. So they did a pretty good job here on uh, identifying words that start with D and tracing that. So again, I could tap here on comment and I could say, good job. And I could post that. I could even like it. I could go here to the skills icon. And again, listens carefully to directions might be the closest one I can do right now. And I'm gonna say that they are definitely proficient on this. Um, 
I believe they were supposed to drag those emojis over to the blue box though, so they didn't quite exceed on the directions, exceed at following the directions here. I'll go ahead and I will save that by tapping on the check. And then I will put that in the language arts folder. So you can see how if I had tagged a skill in the folder, it would save me some of this work as I'm going through. And I will go ahead and approve this.